So today we're here, we're going to be talking about PEAK, which is the predictive equation for alfalfa quality. And uh, by producers that have growing alfalfa can use the PEAK stick to determine what the uh, quality of their alfalfa is so they can determine when to cut it uh, based on the quality that they need for their livestock. Uh, PEAK uses a, a method of, of the crop's height and the uh, vegetative state that it's in, whether it's in the er, uh, vegetative or the early bud, late bud, or flowering stage. And what you do is you just go into the field and you look at the height of your alfalfa crop. You, just, you pick the tallest plant within the area that you're sampling. You measure that and then by checking the top of the plant you can determine what stage it's at. Now in the case of this plant here, it's in the uh, early bud stage. You can feel the, the, the bud that's in here. So if we look at a plant that is 20 inches tall and it's in the early bud stage, this is the peak stick is indicating that this quality of alfalfa is at 204. A relative feed value. Uh, when, if, as a producer, if you're using the peak stick, what we do recommend is that you uh, sample four or five different areas in your field and then do an average as far as the tallest plant and the most advanced plant and that'll determine what the relative feed value is for the entire field and help you determine when to cut it. Okay, now John, just one thing. You say, uh, unlike some other scouting, you're saying taking the tallest plant, not an average, right? That's right. Okay, so just to double check because often when we talk about scouting, we're talking about representatives. So yes. You're, you're still recommending several areas in a field, but always choosing the tallest plant. Always choosing the tallest plant. And, and, and what by choosing the tallest plant, what it, what it allows you to do is it, uh, make sure that you're not over-assessing the field so that if you've got one area where the plants are doing very well or you've got one area where the plants are doing very, very poorly, you could get the wrong assessment as to when to cut that field. And what are some of the caveats to using the stick? Well, some of the caveats to, to use a stick is to remember that uh, it's, it's a, a, a stick that can be used for estimating something. And therefore, uh, based on estimate, when you're estimating things, you have to keep in mind some of the growth factors of alfalfa that the stick can't know about. Uh, if the alfalfa is under any type of stress like uh, drought or excess moisture or cold conditions, alfalfa doesn't grow as quickly or mature as quickly. And therefore, the peak stick could give you a uh, false reading. The other thing we need to look at when we're looking at the, using the peak stick is it's not very good when the, when the alfalfa crop is less than 16 inches tall or greater than 40 inches. Then the, the relation between the crop height and the fiber that's in it uh, are a little bit off and therefore the peak stick isn't very good at predicting that. All right, so it doesn't replace a test necessarily, but it's a good indication for deciding when to cut. Now, one other question, can this be used for second and third cut? Yes, the peak stick can also be used for second and third cut because again, it's strictly looking at the, the height of the crop and the maturity. So therefore it can be used. Okay, thanks John. Okay.